let's talk the news let's start with the andrew tate story so for those of you who don't know andrew tate has been on trial for quite a bit in romania for sex trafficking now i will say to me it has always been very ironic uh, ironic ironic because if you go back and you look at the statements that Andrew Tate has made about the country of Romania before, and I'm trying to learn more and more about Eastern European politics since I'm working as a war reporter in Ukraine, I'm trying to, you know, open up my horizons to some other post-Soviet states that I could study. And in Romania, he made the comment that, oh, I want to live here because in Romania, you can just bribe the police to get away with crimes. That if they catch you, you can just be done with it. You give them $5,000, unlike other countries. And that was a motivation that he had for going to the country. Well, then he went to the country and got charged with sex trafficking. And not just sex trafficking. There was other charges of, you know, sexual assault, other stuff. You can go... I don't want to relitigate the entirety of the trial. But the point is, the accusation from the Romanian government touched on this, broadly speaking, because there was a bunch of different charges, that Andrew Tate was basically an internet pimp who was stealing money from the women that was in his, uh, let's just say, employment. And while he was doing these types of activities, tons of accusations were also coming out of his possible uh, sexual misconduct. Again, I don't want to relitigate anything right now, but I can tell you this, that if you go back and you watch Andrew Tate's streams, and this is when it gets into the discussion of like how real is Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate had bragged previously on camera Putting aside any evidence that will be presented in the case, the case is not over, it is not done, he has not been found guilty, we have yet to see all the evidence. He had admitted on stream before to committing crimes. He had admitted it before on stream and reloaded and uploaded videos of this. That's not even talking about like his blog and other stuff he admitted to there. But just with his, with his video content that he's put out, he admitted to taking money away from his cam girls and telling them, hey, it's tax money. And wouldn't you know it, now he's being accused of stealing from his cam girl, stealing from the people under his employ using this tactic. So I will say that I can see Andrew Tate committing crimes because he's admitted to committing crimes. Now, that doesn't mean every single thing he's been accused of is true. That doesn't mean that uh, uh, that I say that everything that he's been or 99 percent, I don't know. What I do know is that he's admitted to crimes before. And so I'm just waiting for all the evidence to be laid on the ground. So I don't need to be one of those fools who are talking about a bunch of stuff. I don't know, making assumptions about evidence that I have not seen or just taking a celebrity that I like. Not that I like Andrew Tate, but for those who do like Andrew Tate as face value because I like them and just want to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I had been going into this trial with a generally open mind, but with knowledge of Andrew Tate's previous statements, his general behavior, his demeanor, and just, you know, the way he carries himself. So I did not have high hopes for him coming out innocent, but I didn't know. I wasn't there during the alleged sex trafficking, so who knows? So I'd been sitting back and waiting for the results of the trial. Well, wouldn't you know it, after months and months of speculation and armchair lawyers giving their commentary and all sorts of people giving their two cents into a situation that they did not know much about uh, and outside of those directly involved in the trial, they would be the only ones that would have the direct knowledge in order to determine if he was innocent or not innocent. And even at this point, until it's all presented, you could not necessarily say that. But now we're finding out that Andrew Tate was planning on fleeing Romania and he got snatched by the Romanian authorities before being uh, uh, before fleeing Romania and is now going to be extradited to the United Kingdom after the trial in Romania for separate charges. Let's read some of this. And look, this is already getting pretty wild. This is already crazy to think that Andrew Tate's potential criminality has expanded to such a point that it's not just being constrained within Romania and that he was getting to the point where he fed, felt like he possibly had to flee. Uh, but we haven't even gotten to the hook of the story yet on how the authorities found out that he was possibly trying to flee. 
Grainy footage from Romanian police shows a man dubbed the king of toxic masculinity being detained in the dead of night, along with his brother, then hauled into a Bucharest court in handcuffs. Within hours, a judge there Tuesday approved the extradition of Andrew and Tristan Tate to the United Kingdom, where they face charges of sexual aggression in a case that dates back more than a decade. But the judges said that the Tate brothers won't actually be sent to the UK until after they face a trial in Romania on separate charges of human trafficking, rape, and forming a criminal group to sexually exploit women. Andrew Tate, 37, describes himself as a misogynist. He's a British-American social media influencer, businessman, and former professional kickboxer who amassed over 9 million followers on Twitter. Many of them are schoolboys, something that has sparked concern among educators. Tate says that he's the victim of a conspiracy against men who embrace their masculinity. It's unclear what charges his brother faces, both deny any wrongdoing. So even if Andrew Tate, whether he committed the crime or did it, whether what he said on stream or on video back in the day about committing crimes was true, or if he was just like beating his chest to try to look cool, or if that's completely unrelated, even if we find out that these two get like sweeped of any wrongdoing, this guy is going to be sent to the UK afterwards, whether he's convicted or not, to then face for further charges. So either he's going to, best case scenario, get out of Romania, then go to the UK to face those trials after being found not guilty in Romania, whether he was innocent or they just didn't have evidence, who knows. Or, worst case scenario, he's felt guilty in Romania, then sent to the UK, then found guilty in the UK, and then he's just screwed. Now, again, we're at a point where he hasn't even been extradited yet. We haven't even finished the Romania trial. We haven't even seen all of the evidence. We don't even know the charges that his brother are facing. So again, anybody saying they know the outcome of this trial at this point, uh, I think is uh, lying to you. I think that they're probably... Either A, a grifter, or B, ignorant. Both terribly bad. But how did the Romanian authorities catch wind that they had to pounce on Andrew Tate because he was possibly fleeing the country? This isn't in this NPR article. What are we talking about here? Well, I wanted to talk about this right here. This moment on the Aiden Ross stream. You know, Aiden Ross has been talking to Andrew Tate before. He's been on his stream a few times. I've seen him on the stream. I don't watch the Andrew Tate stream, but I've seen clips. And every clip I see, it feels like, like, an, like a fun uncle. Maybe you could put it that way. Or like a some sort of masculine father figure. Almost looking after like a son. Like being like, oh, yes, yes. Oh, I'll tell you how to be a man. That's what it felt like when I was watching... Aiden Ross talking to Andrew Tate. It felt very weird. It was really weird, the dynamics that was going back and forth. But putting that aside, putting around, uh, aside my, my kind of weird, uneasy feeling and watching those two interact, this is a clip from Aiden Ross's stream where he's talking about being able to stream with Andrew Tate for possibly the last time. Check this out. Um... Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big. And it's never it's I'm sorry. He said it's not. It's basically now or never. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, you know, and, and this is just I told you guys this year, you know, it's a week of content. Right. Um, and again, guys, this might be the last time we ever do this. So it's kind of like we got to take advantage of it now because, hey, bro, it's 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 just. It's basically like, yeah, it's like that. He's going to be leaving Romania soon. Why would Andrew Tate be leaving Romania soon? And if he is leaving Romania soon, then why would it be permanently? Why would they not be able to make content ever again? You know, I've never had to go into hiding, but if I was going to go into hiding... I do have to say, this feels like the type of stuff I would be telling my friends. Of course, those that would be the closest, the ones I could rely on, the ones I could trust, not Aiden Ross. But I'd be telling them like, yeah, I'm going to be hiding in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm going to be hiding in the mountains of 
of uh, uh you know the carpathian mountains in ukraine i got some place to hide because i'm wanted i'm want there's this and that so if you want to get a burger we got to get a burger in the next week because then i'm outie from this perspective it sounds like aiden ross went on stream and straight up just leaked the fact that andrew tate was going to be fleeing the country possibly because of the court tr uh, court case we don't know for sure but it's kind of like an obvious suspicion we would all have and he just dropped that out into the public and it and if you look at him man at the end of this clip so it's kind of like we got to take advantage of it now because hey bro it's 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 just it's basically like yeah he doesn't realize what he's done he has no clue the magnitude of what he said and in fact do you even think he understands what Andrew Tate told him? Do you think, like, if I was, let me ask you guys, okay? And obviously none of you guys are friends with Andrew Tate. Well, maybe, I don't know. I don't know you guys' lives. But if Andrew Tate or somebody on trial, on trial for serious crimes, told you, hey, this is the last time I'm going to be in the country, and then I'm going to go, and you're never going to see me again, what what's the read you take off of that situation what's the read the read i would take is that they're fleeing is that they're gonna skedaddle did he not take that off the situation did he just think that andrew tate just decided out of nowhere that he felt like packing up and moving to iceland packing up and moving to mexico andrew tate just randomly felt like oh maybe sri lanka this time of year i really don't know because again, we're talking about Aiden Ross here. I don't think this is somebody who's just, just due to the type of life he lives, who's ever had to worry about that type of a situation before. He might have legitimately not known. It's hard to say if he knew the gravity of what he was saying. I'd bet against it. Either way, though, here is a reporter from the Washington Post, mind you. Here's streamer Aiden Ross accidentally revealing Andrew Tate's alleged plan to flee Romania, a lawyer for, tw uh, for Tate accusers in the UK. So this, a lawyer for Tate accusers in the UK. So these are the lawyer, this is the lawyers for the accusers of Andrew Tate in the UK, trying to get him to be extradited to the UK to face trial. A, loyal for the, a lawyer for the Tate accusers in the UK confirms to me that Ross's video, Aiden Ross's video, was what prompted Tate's arrest today on concerns that he would become a fugitive. Aiden Ross, through stumbling, fumbling, and just being himself, has been able to get Andrew Tate behind bars. Andrew Tate, I, Aiden Ross has done more for the cause against Andrew Tate than possibly anyone else could have in his situation. And he did it completely unconsciously with no knowledge to the severity of what he was doing right now or what the results would be. It's honestly kind of beautiful. I, I do find this beautiful in a way. Now, this is going to be something that's probably, if this is true, and this is from the Washington Post, and it's from the Rolling Stones, Andrew Tate was arrested after Aiden Ross blabbed about his escape plan. That is the title to a Rolling Stones article. A Rolling Stones article. Andrew Tate was arrested after Aiden Ross blabbed about his escape plan. This is something that's going to follow Aiden for the rest of his life. He's going to be seen as the ultimate backstabbing homie. The, ult the, the ultimate backstabbing homie, man. It's, I can't. How do you get worse than this? And, and to me, like, I couldn't even if I was Andrew Tate, I, I don't know if I could even blame Aiden Ross. I feel like I'd more have to blame myself for trusting Aiden Ross. It's like. Can you really blame Aiden Ross? It's almost like it's his nature, you know? It's like, oh, oh, I, 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 I took two beta fish and I housed them together and one killed the other. Oh, should I be angry at that beta fish or should I? Oh, that's just the nature of beta fish. That's what beta fish do. 
And so Andrew Tate brought Aunt Aiden Ross into his life and he made a mess of it, as Aiden Ross does. Anyway, if any of you guys are ever in the situation where you're on the run for the law and for whatever reason you don't want to turn yourself in, can I, can I just say, do not choose the person licking the window in order uh, to, to expouse your escape plans to. If you can see them picking the gravel out of their knuckles and they're streaming on kick, <laughs> maybe, maybe don't tell them your escape plan. Okay, I'm just, just a recommendation. I wonder if any news outlets like the Rolling Stone reached out to Aiden Ross. Oh, I forgot about this picture. I forgot about this picture. I love this picture. This is, I think this picture perfectly surmises the situation right now. Or I imagine this is how Andrew Tate is looking out the uh, window of his jail cell.